hello everyone it's me ht blue from blue lab and today i'm going to show you how to free up your internal memory uh, so when we are using an android phone for a very long time it's generally happen that our internal memory get full because we have downloaded so much applications so follow all the steps that i'm doing right now uh, you will definitely get free memory as you can see i'm getting a warning message low on space so i will show you how much space i have left going to apps it's loading now and you can see i have 1.6 mb free only so it's not good so basically what you need is a link to sd card this app is free freely available on android market you need a rooted phone if you don't have rooted phone you can't apply it and the third thing uh, you know uh, you need is uh, mini tools which i am going to show you how it's work and how what is the use of it so first open link to sd card you can download it from play store here we go it's showing all my user applications right now opening the menu tab and going to storage info and you can see my internal storage is almost full in sd card you can see 76% free the here is the sd card second part that is not available right now uh, how to make it available i will show you uh, this is the thing that many tools going uh, to do it will create a partition on sd card and this will help help you to store all the apps that are currently in internal memory so i will going through the advantages of creating such kind of and partition and what is the benefit that you, you are going to get so follow all the steps that i am going to uh, do so the tutorials goes in three phase i will show you one uh, every phase one by one so uh, i am switching to my laptop right now and show you what to do there right now i am on my laptop and the tool you need uh, needed uh, is many tools you can download it from their official site and just google it and you will find it uh, i have already downloaded one uh, also you can find the mini tool uh, in my description below uh, you can also download it uh, from there and so when you download the mini tool you will get a zip file unzip it i, I already unzipped it so no need to unzip it open the folders and you will find the server.exe uh, install this application it's not too hard just you need to press next 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 here is the license agreement read it if you want to read i accept the agree agreement next 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 it's installing the software right now and checking it finish So here is the mini tool partition visit shortcut icon you can use it to open it So this is the interface that you are going to get when you first open it uh, I am quickly going to insert my memory card closing it right now so my memory card has been successfully entered i re i am restarting the application so this is the interface as you can see my memory card is under disk 2 it's in ntfs format it's if you have the same case just format it and change it to fat32 if it's already in fat32 no need to change it So first step you need to do is move uh, right click on your mouse and choose move resize uh, th this is the partition size it's actually the full size of your memory card i am using 16 gb memory card right now going over it move the cursor here and when you get such kind of symbol just move it and resize it Uh, the amount that you are going to give and this is the amount that is going to allocate as your secondary memory yeah, so it's all your choice i am using 16 gb and i am going to allocate 1 gb right now here we go it's almost 1 gb 
uh, I'm clicking on clicking on OK. So as you can see right now, we have successfully take out one GB uh, from our 16 GB memory card. Now what you need to do it right now, uh, right click on your mouse and choose create. A dialog box is pop up read it out. I am directly pressing it to yes. Now create as choose primary. File system changes to FAT32 because So if you get this kind of dialog box it means you have success successfully created the secondary partition in your memory card. Press it on OK and it's all done close the mini tool and i am switching to my android device right now uh, to show you what to do next so this is all for uh, the phase one that you need to do uh, if you follow all my steps then you have successfully created if you have any query regarding it post it in the comment box so i hope you have followed all my instruction and successfully created a second partition in your memory card so after creating a partition, insert your memory card in your android device and reboot it once. I have already rebooted it so I don't need to reboot it again. So quickly I am going to show you how much memory that I have left. Moving to apps. As you can see right now I have, I have 40 MB left in my internal storage. So it's pretty low. Uh, as you can see I am getting this kind of message right now low on this page phone storage space is getting low so it's not really good so quickly going to open link to SD card and show you what's going on there if you get any kind of tab here asking for system storage type or something like that uh, just select the fat 16 uh, uh, oblique fat 32 option now oh good, uh, after opening link to SD card go to your storage info and as you can see my internal memory is 9% free SD card second partition this is the partition that we have just created and it is the SD card first partition so all your apps are now going to store in this partition I have 1.03 uh, GB uh, and almost 99% free now what to do next Select this tab and go to user. Oh, uh, select option multi select and select all. Choose action and choose create link. Make sure you have checked all the three boxes and press it on OK. The creation of link has been started right now. We have to wait until it's finished. So as you can see it's almost at, uh, press it on ok. So here is the interface. You have successfully created a link to SD card. How to know you will get this kind of thing link to SD card. So that's all uh, what you need to do. I am going to my apps right now. To show you what is the amount of memory that I have left. It's 275 so I almost free uh, 250 MB uh, from my internal memory. So if you are thinking that you are getting any kind of complaint regarding the performance, uh, no it's not. Uh, uh, you can see the highway rider is linked with SD card and I'm going to play it for you right now.
so I, as you can notice that game running as smooth as it needs to be I am quickly going to compare it with uh, the traditional moving of application to SD card using app to SD or using application manager first I need to unlink all the application how to unlink all the application choose multi select select all and go to actions remove links make sure you have checked all the three boxes and press it on ok it's now unlinking the game and then I'm uh, moving the games to SD card let's wait until it's unlink all my application so if you are getting this kind of messages means you have successfully unlink all your application and move it back to internal storage pressing on ok now I'm getting low space warn uh, warning right now so now I'm going to move all my application to SD card we are using app to SD card or memory manager to do, do this operation one by one I am going to select all my application I don't have app to SD card right now so move to SD card so my angry bird has been moved to uh, SD card so, so this is the last app, uh, app that I have moved to SD card and now quickly going to the internal storage you can notice that 158 MB free but when we are using link to SD card to link our apps to the SD card that's stored in second partition you will get almost uh, 270 MB of memory free so you are getting a difference of almost 120 MB so this is a quick comparison between link to SD card and the traditional method or the native method that we are using up till now uh, we are using app to SD card or uh, memory manager or app manager to do the, uh, this kind of operations so this is the second phase of this tutorial and I am going to third phase where um, first I will discuss the advantages and disadvantages then I will show you how to merge the partition back to the uh, back to your main memory so this is all for uh, this I am switching to my laptop right now so I hope you guys followed my instruction and you have successfully created partition and linked all your application to your SD card now, now quickly I am going to talk uh, to about advantages and disadvantages of this using this application now first we will talking about advantages so it will create a link to SD card so when you run an application it first go to its internal storage and from there it find the path to SD card this is how it's work the second advantage you are going to get it move uh, apk plus delvic executable file plus library file to free up storage if you do it you, uh, using app to SD card or memory manager uh, you uh, you are not able to move delvic executable file uh, to your external storage so you can free up more memory using this the biggest advantage you can get is whenever you connect your device with PC or laptop device only unmount the first partition of SD card not the secondary uh, partition so you always have the access to your applications and games which you linked with the SD card these all are the advantages that you are going to get talking about the disadvantage the only disadvantage is you need to have a root access to use this app it is the only uh, disadvantage if you are thinking that uh, your application will get slower i have already shown you uh, i have connected it with laptop and you have find that the application works as usual so if you have followed all my instruction then uh, you have successfully created the linked with your SD card so quickly I am going uh, going to show you if anything goes wrong with your SD card or if in future if you want to merge the partition with your uh, first partition what you need to do uh, you need again you need mini tools for 
it's opening up right now i'm connecting my sd card to pc as you can see i have inserted my memory card restarting the application so under disk 2 you find my memory card and its partition of 1 gb before doing this if you have any data on your memory card kindly move it to your laptop or pc first so how to merge the two partition it's so simple just click it's in fat32 format fat32 format convert it into ntfs format it ok convert it again change it to ntfs ok now right click choose merge choose the disk to choose the drive which you want to merge next choose the drive with which you want to merge next and finish now you just need to apply the operation apply pending changes yes it's merging it right now so it's almost completed so if you get this kind of dialog box it means you have successfully merged your partition with your main memory card clicking on ok i have successfully merged my secondary partition with the primary one so uh, that's all for this tutorial so if you are getting any kind of trouble regarding this you can write me on my comment box so for more tutorials and updates uh, subscribe to my channel thank you guys